Everyone, welcome back to Sons of the Forest. Now, it has been quite some time since I have been out here in the forest, and I think it's actually been like over half a year, but we have the full version finally released. We've got Kelvin right here that we've got to help up, so let me go ahead and do that. Come on up, buddy. I've got your back. Kelvin, can you hear me? Yeah, I think Kelvin's done for. We'll get him back in working order here, but I don't think he's going to get his hearing back. All right, so we can have him follow, go get stuff, build, clear. Um, Let's just follow me for now. But yeah, like I said, it's been quite some time since I've jumped back into this one, and I'm really excited. I didn't realize that they had completely finished. They released the 1.0 version up until the day after it happened. So now I got to remember... How in the world do I survive out here? Now, first things first, of course, we've got to do some looting. We've got some briefcases and things like that all around us. What is that? A little rabbit. Come here, buddy. Can I throw this rock at you? No. Yeah. Oh, I don't need this big rock here. Let's throw that. Let's grab all the little stuff. Okay. We've got some more bins here. Oh, let me open that. I don't want to throw the rock. Okay. I don't remember how to put this bag away, so I'm just going to hold on to it for a little bit. Or not bag, but this tarp. But I guess we can put down a little shelter. Just as a little starting point. I think the goal for today is just to basically get back into the swing of things. Let's grab these flares. But yeah, we need to get back into the swing of things. We need to figure out how in the world to survive out here. I don't think we're going to get this chopper back in running order. <laughs> it looks like it's in pretty rough shape. I didn't realize it fell out of the tree. I wonder if that other guy is still here, the guy that not only broke his back on the branches on the way down, but also got crushed by the door <laughs> as soon as he hit the ground. That was brutal. Oh, yeah. Here he is. Oh, rest in peace to that guy. I really wish you could bury these guys that you find around here. Actually, I wonder if we can. I'm pretty sure I said that the first time I ever jumped into the forest, but I don't know if we were ever able to or not. But all right, let's just put this down right here. And I think we picked up a stick, didn't we? No, we didn't pick up any sticks just yet. All right, let's uh, try and find some on the ground. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me figure this out. Don't we have our survival bag right here? Okay, let's go ahead and open that. All right, we've got our GPS. Look at this bad boy. High tech, high quality. All right, now we've got our axe. I got to figure out. I don't remember exactly how to equip these in certain slots. There we go. Okay, I just got to press the number. Um, all right, let's see. Um, is there anything else here that we need right now? I don't think so. Let's probably use these meds, right? Okay, let's get rid of that. Take these. Our health is pretty low. And there we go. We should regenerate to full health. All right, our knife, let's just put that at two, and then I think that's kind of it for now. Looks like it wants us to use this guidebook. Okay, let's see what we can craft right off the bat here. Got our basic fire, reinforced fire, bonfire, standing, okay, a lot of fires. Okay, we don't need that anymore. Um, I needed a stick. So let's put our map away, and let's start chopping some trees here, at least some bushes. Did I pick the sticks up? Oh, there we go. Man, this is really going to take some getting used to. I have completely forgotten everything about the forest. There we go. We've got one side up. And now we've got the other. Okay. So now we've got our basic shelter, a little makeshift lean-to. Okay. Figured out how to get the sticks. It took, me, <laughs> it took me a second to figure out how to even just grab them out of my backpack. But we've got it. So I think, do we just put it down here? Okay, yes, we do. Um, let's go grab some more sticks. I don't want to go too far from this little campsite. I think we're going to use this as kind of a spot to touch base whenever we need. We've got a source of fresh water right here. We've got fish, beautiful fish. So we've got a source of food. We've got rabbits. We've got deer. 
This is an awesome spot. I honestly wouldn't mind building a cabin right on this little, uh, not really a pond, I guess just a wide part of the river. All right, we've got a fire. Kelvin's already resting. I don't know. He's not really doing any work. Don't know if he really deserve a rest, but let's figure out. We need to figure out how to make a bow and arrow. Oh, that's not how. Oh, gosh, I got to figure this out. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Let's throw the stick in here. Wait, we probably need rope. Yeah, we're probably going to have to do some more exploring, some more discovery of items here. Is there any more briefcases or anything like that around here? I'm not really seeing any. Here's one. Just had some batteries and circuit boards. But all right, looking at the map here, we do have a cave right next to us. We've got some points of interest off, uh, looks like probably northeast and northwest. So I say let's head off northwest. We've got the coastline down that way. Maybe we'll find some loot over there. I'm willing to bet we will. Let's see if we can get the squirrel. Oh, come on. No, I don't think I'm going to get him. All right. You got away this time, buddy. All right, well, let's keep running off this way. Like I said, the coastline is over here. And if you guys have seen my previous series on this, I ended up building up against a waterfall, built this massive base that took me hours and hours and hours. And it was a ton of fun. It really pushed kind of my creative limits. You seeing this, Kelvin? This seems like a safe area. Anyway, <laughs> it really pushed my creative limits and I had a lot of fun, but eventually I think I just got so burned out because I spent so many hours building that I just, like I said, I just got burned out. But let's pick up some of these flowers since we're here. Let's check our map, make sure we're going the right way. Yes, we are. So we just got to keep heading this way. We'll get down to the coast and yeah, there should be loot down there. There normally is. Oh, can we kill this rabbit? Well, I think... Anyone else could, but I struggle with it, so I'm going to keep moving. We don't necessarily need really any food or anything right now, so I'm not too worried about it. But I would like to get some food here eventually, just so we have something on hand. But I guess the main objective right now is just getting the basics together. We really need some rope. We're going to need that to craft a lot. And I like this little creek here. This is a cool little spot. I think eventually what I want to do is build like little bridges and things like that over the little creeks and in the, in the areas that I'm going to be traversing a lot. I don't know why, but it, it just makes it seem... Uh oh Someone's drinking water up here. I think I'm going to avoid him for now. But it makes it almost seem like a state park. It's like you're out in the wild. It's, it's, it's dangerous, but at the same time, it's almost well established, if that makes sense. I don't know. I'm just kind of yapping right now. But anyway, <laughs> where are we at? Uh, I kind of veered off trail. We got to go this way. Let's get down to the coast. We'll see what we can find. And then I say we probably head back to our little camp. And I don't know if we're going to build a little base just yet. I think today, all I really want to do is just explore. I know a lot, a lot has changed since I have been here in the forest. So that's the main goal It's just exploration, figuring out what's new, what things we can craft and really just figuring out how to craft again, because even putting that fire together, I was struggling. I was struggling a lot, but hey, I figured it out. So we'll be able to figure the rest out. But all right, we are coming up to the coast right now. We got a little waterfall over there. Absolutely beautiful. It is quite barren out here, but I think if we get closer to the water, we should be able to find some stuff. And I'm already seeing a raft out in the water. So I think I might smoke over there. But yeah, I think I might want to swim out to that raft. I think we'll be okay. I don't have any armor or anything on, but I know there's sharks out there. And um, I don't really want to die, you know, on day one. But I also kind of want to take some risks because I think there's some useful things out on that raft. And if I remember right, I think there's a little firearm. Or at least there used to be. Like I said, a lot has changed, so I don't really know what to expect. But so far, just kind of scanning the coastline. Oh, there's a dead fish. I'm not really seeing much. Ooh, rope. Here we go. Or as I was saying that, I should have tried to kill that bird. Could have got some feathers from him, I believe. Ooh, turtle. Hey, buddy. You look so helpless. Both of you do. <laughs> oh, no. But I kind of want to kill you. Just for some meat, and I think, I think we can get some, their shells too. Is he dead? Yes, he is. All right, let's cut him up while his friend over here watches. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, look at that. We've got a turtle shell. 
And then... Oh! I didn't mean to do that. I just ate the raw meat. And picked up the turtle head. I didn't know we could pick up turtle heads. Look at that, it's right there. Looks like it's a trophy of some sort. So, I guess we can mount it. Not that I really want to. Why is that... Is that a fish? No, it's a log. Why is that log rolling? Alright, anyway. Um, I think I only need one turtle shell for now. I don't want to get too greedy. Looks like there's plenty of turtles around here. Hey, little buddy. Don't, you don't, it's okay. You don't have to, you don't have to be scared. I'm not going to kill you. Just don't look at what I did over there. Oh, can I pick this paddle up? No, I can't. I was hoping I could use it. You know what? Kelvin, um, I don't think I have to tell you. But I think you should stay here. You see that? Yes, he can. I love his little head nods. He's so goofy, it's funny. All right, I'm gonna swim out here. Let's hope I don't run into any sharks. I have a feeling I'm going to. But again, I really wanna just, I wanna get a good start here. I'm not looking to really rush through this play, but I think a little handgun to start would be pretty beneficial. But wish me luck. So far, I'm looking underwater, not seeing anything, but it's very murky down here. Oh my gosh! Okay, yeah, found a shark. Hey buddy, I'm just gonna keep swimming. Yeah, he took a good chunk of uh, health out of me. Let's just keep pushing, swim as fast as we can here. Let's get up, let's get up, come on, no, please, get up. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a dead body here. Let me just slowly climb in here. Oh, okay. Well, apparently this guy was part of Team B. Let's pick up his tracker. And look at that, we've got a gun. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Have some flares and some MREs, it looks like. So let's pick all of these up. Can I pick this book up? No, we can't. Patrick M. Knight, Holographic World. Number two bestseller. Never made it to number one. Um, I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else I can pick up. Now, I kind of want to scope it out. It looks like the shark is right there. And I don't know how much ammo I have. And those seagulls are going absolutely crazy. Okay, the shark is right here. Let me see. I'm going to shoot it. And... That just made him mad, I think, more than anything, and I'm just gonna go for it. Alright, if anything, last time we went through this, he only took one chunk out of me. Hopefully he does the same now, or hopefully he doesn't even do that. But if he does, hopefully it's just one hit. Because if he does, I'll at least survive that. But if he takes more than one, I might be in a lot of trouble. Just looking back, I'm not seeing him. I think we might be okay, knock on wood. But let's just keep pushing through. I don't really want to take any chances. And now we are actually able to touch the ground, and we are safe. All right. Goodbye, Mr. Shark. Hello, Kelvin. I need to tell you probably to come with me, right? Yeah. Follow me, buddy. A whole new world awaits us, and I've got a gun. Look at this. Can you see the gun, Kelvin? It's pretty cool, right? <laughs> oh, let's kill this bird. Yep. Okay, here we go. We got some feathers. Let's grab that. And we got one more. And let's gut this guy. Oh, that one was just free. How about this one? Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if you caught that, but that bird was just eating the starfish. <laughs> I didn't know they did that. That's actually pretty funny. And kind of a cool little detail. But alright, I have collected a ton of feathers, a ton of bird meat. I'm gonna let you live, little guy. And I say we head back to our little camp. Well, actually, let's explore the beach a little bit more. I really didn't find anything on the beach in terms of loot. I just found one rope. I was expecting to find more. But maybe I'm just not looking hard enough. Not really seeing anything over here. Let's go back over this way. 
towards that smoke. I don't want to go to that smoke just yet because that's not a good sign to me. I'm willing to bet it's not anyone that is going to be really friendly because in my experience... Oh, here we go. All right, well, another dead body, but let's turn this off. Uh, actually, I just picked it up. I'll take that. That's fine. Some MRE, a cooking pot, beautiful, some cash. Uh, let's see here, energy drink, watch. Did he have a tracker on him? I don't think so, unless I collected it without realizing it. Let's go ahead and open this up. Got a grenade and a C4 brick. I really wish I could take this. If we could take this and use this as a uh, cooking, and we could pick up this frying pan, that would be so much easier. And we could find some fuel inside of these containers. That would be so nice. That way we don't have to build our own fire every single time we want to cook up food. Unfortunately... Oh my goodness! Yeah, that's probably a good call, Kelvin. <laughs> I, <laughs> I did not expect... I don't know why. I don't know why I didn't expect it. I should have. But for some reason, I thought it was a good idea to slam that thing with the hatchet here. And, um, well, you saw the result. Okay, well, let's keep moving. I don't think I really found any more rope, did I? I have one rope. That's it. Okay. Well, I'll keep hugging this coastline here. Like I said, I'm going to go back up over that way. I came from kind of that area anyway. So we do need to head over there. It's starting to get dark, I think. What time is it? Oh, that's not the map. That's not the map either. There we go. 1633, so it's about, what, 4.30 p.m.? So still pretty early, but I still should head back. The sun should be going down fairly soon here. I think I'm actually going to go up this waterway here wonder if there's anything that may be washed up along the way. Not really seeing anything. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything. I wonder if there's like a cave or anything underneath this. No. I was hoping for a little secret cave. I'm pretty sure there are some around here. And I'm pretty sure there are like specific caves that we can go into. Where there are the, um, I guess, mutants. Whatever they're called out here. But that was not one of them. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm saying screw it to the coastline, and I say we head back home, or at least our temporary home right now. We'll pick up whatever we can along the way, like these salmon berries. What are these? We got some blueberries. We'll take those. Those don't give us a whole lot in terms of energy and stuff, but I think we can craft other things. Probably some medicinal stuff, which, uh, as you might notice, I'm going to need that pretty often, considering the, the risks I like to take, like shark-infested waters and exploding gas tanks. I also just realized I was going the complete opposite way of our camp. So I'm really gonna have to beeline straight to it now. I was gonna try and explore a little bit before, but oh, here we go. All right, I'm not gonna mess with you. You don't need to mess with me, just keep moving. I don't think he saw me, so let's try and be quiet. Let's run this way. Hopefully he doesn't hear us. If he does, hey, we're just, we're just a deer. We're just a deer running through the woods, me and Kelvin. No need to mess with us. And you know what? I'm by this river here. And what I want to do is see if we can craft a spear. I don't really remember how. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. Is it just maybe two sticks? No. Oh, here we go. Crafted spear. We need two sticks. Uh, is that duct tape and a knife? Let's throw the duct tape in there. Two sticks. And knife? There we go. We have our first official weapon. Let's throw this over here. Equip that to three. And wow, yeah, it, it's getting dark real fast. What I wanted to do is do a little spear fishing. Got all these fish jumping, but I don't know if I can grab them as they're jumping. It seems like they disappear. Okay, I'm not really having any luck right now. Oh boy, we got one of the little monkey men over there. Um, let me just push forward in this little river here. See if we can actually spot any. It's pretty dark already. Oh, we're a little bit too deep. Is there anything? Okay, let's try it in this area again. See if we can stab them as they're jumping. Oh, I fell in. I don't know if we can get them. I feel like I'm getting pretty close. But I don't think we can get these guys. I think we have to see them in the water instead of jumping out of the water. But 
My goodness, is it dark? Um, can we craft a torch? Let's throw... Oh, nope, I didn't want to do that. Didn't want to do this either. Oh, I'm struggling right now. Alright, I need some cloth, but oh no, I don't have any cloth. Oh boy. Hold on, let's go back into our inventory. Let's take out our lighter. And it's not great, but I guess it's better than nothing. Let's take out our spear. Let's make sure that we're going the right way, actually. Oh yeah, we're basically going straight to our camp. Okay, took me a little while, got lost a couple times because I wasn't paying attention, but we finally made it back and our fire is out, so we're going to have to probably, well, I guess we can just relight it, it's probably not going to last very long, so can we add more sticks? Nope, oh, there it goes. Let's grab some sticks from our inventory, let's try and throw some of these down. Light her up. And then let's see if we can add any more sticks. I'm not sure if we can. Doesn't look like... Oh, nope. How about this though? Can we add some of these rocks around it? Yes, we can. Let's try and make a more sustainable fire. Something that's going to last a little bit longer. And there we go. I think that kind of finishes it off. Right? Let me double check. Yeah, it doesn't look like we need anything else. Just the rocks and the sticks. Okay, beautiful. Kelvin is already going to sleep. You didn't do anything today. I was attacked by a shark. I blew up a gas tank on myself, and I'm still not trying to go to sleep right away. Kelvin, come on, buddy. We're going to need some more energy, some more motivation out of you. But all right, anyway, um, let me see. I want to actually cook up some food for the night. There we go. I think I just threw six pieces of meat on the fire. So I'm going to wait for these things to cook up. And then once they do, I'm going to put them back in my backpack. I'll go to sleep for the night. We'll eat the stuff in the morning. Uh-oh, I think it's done. Let's pick all that up. Wow, that cooks really fast. Don't burn. Kelvin, Kelvin, <laughs> I'm trying to get to this piece of meat. There we go. All right, let's go to sleep for the night. Oh, all right. Oh. There's a couple deer that were sleeping next to us. And Kelvin's gone. Alright, well, maybe he went out for a little morning hunt or scavenge. Oh! He's right here. Guess he got a little bit too warm in the night. Alright, let's eat some of this meat here. We are dangerously low on food and water. Alright, that is absolutely delicious. Let's drink this energy drink. Get our levels back up here. And there we go. And can we just drink straight from the stream here? Yes, we can. This should be safe water. Uh, no. No, it's not. It looks like I got some kind of sickness from that. Well, <laughs> great start to the morning. But you know what? I'm gonna take some vengeance on these fish that I couldn't get the night before. And there we go. Yeah, so it looks like we can't really get them in the streams the way I was trying to get them. So I guess we just have to stab them in this type of water when we can actually see them. Because the other ones would basically just disappear right away. Alright, we got a couple fish. Should be good to go on that. Um, we can cook those up later. We still have some cooked meat. So I say we get going here. But Kelvin, where should we go first, buddy? We do have a cave right over this way. Is it a good idea to go in already? I don't know. Seems a little bit risky right off the bat. You know what? Screw it. At the very least, we can go in there. We can figure out what type of cave it is. We'll see how dangerous it really is. If it's not dangerous at all, then we can explore a little bit. If it is, we'll just get the heck out of there. But it should be right over here. Oh, yeah, right down here. Okay, yep. See some uh, boxes down here. Oh, let's grab whatever these are, some twin berries. Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, let's open these up. Let's do a little bit of looting before we go in. And we found a light bulb in paper target. Interesting. There we go. There's some rope. Is there anything else around here? Doesn't really look like it. All right, Kelvin, buddy. You stay out here, uh, don't die, and I'll try to do the same. Alright, let's take out our axe, destroy that, and let's head inside. Now unfortunately, I don't have a torch, and I don't have cloth for a torch. Oh wait, never mind, yes I do, just found some cloth here. So let me grab everything that I can see. Let's take out our spear, you know what? I recognize this cave. This is a really good cave, but extremely dangerous as well. Uh, before we go any further, let's go ahead and just make a torch quick. 
All right, let's go ahead and equip this, and then we should be able to light it up. There we go. Now we've got a little bit of light. We've got some raw meat that we can't carry. Oh, we've got a skeleton. Well, actually, quite a few skeletons. Let's see here. Is there anything else we can loot? I don't know how far I really want to go down here, because like I said, if I remember this cave right, it's pretty darn dangerous. But <laughs> I guess let's keep moving forward. Bunch of skulls. Let's pick up a few of them. Yeah. If you didn't know this cave was dangerous going into it, I think this would be a pretty good sign. I don't know if you can see them, but I can definitely see those guys walking around there. I don't know how deep I really want to go here. Um, I just want to be a little bit quiet, get whatever's in here. Bunch of flares. Bunch of bones, we can use that to make some armor. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to push it. It's basically my first day out here. I'm not going to risk my life. Let's actually move in. Oh, wait, hold on. I think we can make a club with these skulls, right? What do we need? We just need some rope. And look at that. You've got the skull club. This thing looks cool. And I think it's actually pretty good, too. All right, but yeah, I'm not going to push it. Let's just get the heck out of here. I'm definitely not prepared for it. I don't have any armor on me or anything. So let's just get outside where it's a, a little bit safer. All right. Hey, Kelvin. Wouldn't recommend going in there, buddy. But all right, let's see here. So our little camp is off that way. And let's see, what does this island look like? We've got the mountains up that way up north. I'm not sure where I want to go. Just wait a minute. There's a wrench on the map up this way. I didn't notice that before. I don't know what that is. All right, Kelvin, let's go explore, buddy. Now, in terms of all of the different types of enemies on here, like those little monkey men, the little hairy guys that are jumping around like monkeys, I'm going to avoid combat with them as much as I can. And same with like the, the tribal mutant types. I'm going, oh my gosh, that deer scared me. I could hear it's uh, hooves galloping to my left and it uh, kind of startled me. I thought it was someone running up on me. But yeah, I'm going to avoid as much of the combat as possible. Whoa! There's a bunch of raccoons. I don't remember raccoons being out here. Um, but anyway, getting distracted. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to avoid the combat because I think the more aggressive I get with those guys, the more aggressive they'll start to get with me over time. And I'm going to avoid that as much as I can. Because, again, I don't know if you noticed, but I have a tendency to get into dangerous situations. And that usually never ends well for me. But I'm seeing a little encampment. Oh my. <sighs> That's why I don't like those little monkey men. <laughs> That's why I don't like them. Uh, wait. Wait, can we drive this thing? No way. No way. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, buddy, you see this? All right, hey, if you're cool with me, I'll be cool with you. You can even ride. Uh, probably not in the passenger seat, but you can jump on the back. No? Not interested? Okay. Oh, that is so cool. The thing is, oh, there is a battery meter right there. Kelvin, can you jump in this thing? There's room. Oh, wait, is there room for you? No, oh, this is like a, a one-person cart. Okay. Wait, we can turn the radio on? <laughs> of course we can. All right, let's turn it off. What just hit me? Is that guy throwing rocks at me? Hey, I'm not... I don't have a problem with you. We don't have a beef. You stay cool, I'll stay cool. Oh, there's a couple of them. Yeah, no, Kelvin, I can see him. I've been having conversations with him. I don't know if you could tell. But there is... Ooh, another cave right here. Oh, this isn't even the spot that we were going towards. The wrench is off this way. Can we mark this location? I don't know if we can. I don't think we can. I guess we'll just have to kind of remember that this cart is here. I don't need it right now. I'm just going to travel by foot. Plus, traversing over stuff like this, it could get a little bit tricky with a golf cart. And by tricky, I mean impossible. And I really don't want to drive the golf cart down there and then just lose it. Oh my goodness. You know what? Maybe I will get aggressive with these guys. If they're going to keep scaring me like this, I might get a little bit aggressive. And you can't blame me for it. Oh, but anyway. 
This wrench is right down here. Oh, it's maintenance, guys. Oh no, sleeping on the job again. These guys are so lazy. Looks like they're covered in oil too. <laughs> All right, sorry, I gotta, I gotta quit joking about these guys. They're dead. All right, Gordon. Puffton refuses to acknowledge what this place is. Not even counting what my team has been finding on the other side of the island. Surveyors going missing. Our workers turning up dead. If he won't deal with the situation, I will. Jin Yu, Jin Yu. I'm not sure how to say that. I wonder if that's the guy from the beginning. These are just radios. Um, Kelvin, what do you think? Do we go check it out? Hmm. That blank stare says it all. Let's go inside. Or maybe not? I can't see. Oh, do I still have to destroy that? Now can we? Oh boy. Oh boy. I can't see anything. There we go. Oh my goodness. Maybe I don't want to be in here. We got a skin pouch. Oh, those are actually nice because they will contain some things that we can use. But where is it? Here it is. Beautiful. We've got some wire, cash, a little rock, and a raw oyster. And it looked like some duct tape too. Okay. Let's keep looting here. Uh-oh. I just heard someone. Can we destroy this with the... No, we can't. Not with the torch. Here, let me take my axe out quick. Yeah, it's so hard to see. But we've got some rope. That's good. Let's destroy this. Okay, some more rope. I think that's all for this little area. I don't know how deep I want to go into this. Again, kind of the same signs we were seeing in the last cave. And I'm hearing noises. But I'm going to keep pushing forward. Uh, there's a couple paths we can take. Both seem like a lot of fun. Oh, there's a note here. Let's go ahead and read that. Uh, it's hard to see. Wait, what is this? It looks like some kind of ramp or something. It's a recipe. Four turtle shells, four wire, I believe, 14 sticks and 14 logs. But what is it? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe we'll be able to find it in our book after we get out of here. I just gotta remember. Gotta remember to check. Let's go up here. I don't like how deep we're getting into this place. But so far, I haven't seen any enemies. Oh, we're outside! This is, this is the exact spot I was concerned about taking that golf cart to. Well, interesting. Alright, so it wasn't that bad. It was actually pretty profitable. We learned something, though I don't know what it was. I wonder if it was a trap of some sort. I'm not sure. But let's keep moving. Let's check out our GPS. There's an exclamation point up here. I think this is one of the GPS trackers. I say we go to that, and then we head back to our camp, and just kind of recoup a little bit. Oh wait, before we do that, I don't want to go into my inventory. I want to check out my book. Um, there was some kind of... Was, I think it was a trap or something. What are these? Oh, here we go! Okay, so it's in my notes section. So, yeah, it doesn't really tell me what it is. So it's got four turtle shells on the top. Obviously, this whole thing's made out of the logs, the 14 logs that we'll need. And then it uses the wires to put all of those shells together. And then there's something on the top. I don't know if this is just scribbles or what in the world this is. But apparently, we can craft it. I don't know. I'm not going to mess with it right now. I say we had to, what I believe, like I said, is that GPS tracker. We can get another GPS tracker. And I just remembered that's how we can mark things. Oh, hold on. There's smoke right here. Let's take out our spear. I want to move carefully around here. Let me make sure I'm going the right way. No, I got to go this way. Let's check out this camp. Maybe, maybe it'll be abandoned. Yeah, I see some tents right here. I'm not seeing anyone just yet. Oh, I'm hearing him though. Oh, oh, that's a deer. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to risk it right now. Come on, Kelvin. I don't want to make anyone mad. I don't want to provoke anything at this point. Like I said, I just want to do a little exploration and maybe we'll find a spot to put down a permanent base or at least a, a temporary base. Something that's a little bit more permanent than my tarp that I've got up right now. But for now, 
Let's get over to this exclamation point and see what's going on over there. Alright, here it is. And I recognize this spot. I know exactly what happened. I just got to keep my distance from this guy. There's some rope and some whiskey bottles or vodka. Hey, hey, do not throw rocks at Kelvin. He didn't do anything to you. He couldn't even hear that thing going by him. That's not even fair. But anyway, <laughs> we got to get down this cliffside here. Should be able to right here. Oh, I do not want to jump down, hurt myself. But unfortunately, there's going to be a body over here. But there is going to be a GPS tracker. Oh, no, I forgot to cut the rope. Shoot. Okay, well, let's loot up whatever we can. And then I'll head back up there, cut the rope, and come back down. All right, I cut the rope. So we should be able to scavenge this guy's body. And like I said, I think it's just a GPS tracker. Yeah, this is Team B. Two out of three. So the third Team B guy is somewhere around here what is that red smoke this makes me kind of nervous I don't remember ever seeing red smoke like this what's going on over here what is that there's a little camp down there here uh how do we get down from here we gotta figure out what that is I think we can drop down Without getting hurt? Yeah, we're okay. Alright, little monkey man over here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He's alive! I've never seen anyone else alive besides Kelvin. Oh! No! No! He just passed away. Oh, that's so depressing. I got so excited. Oh, I thought there was going to be more than just me and Kelvin down here. S sorry, Kelvin, you're great and all, but you just, you're not much of a talker. Oh, that's a bummer. Well, there's tons of loot, one of which I'm seeing is this huge axe. Oh, we have a modern axe. This is actually a massive upgrade. That's awesome. Let's grab these energy drinks. There's another note. Who is Jack Holt? What is he doing here? Puffton didn't have any friends. Chuck. Okay. Hey, guys, stay away. Did, did he just turn that on? I think he did. No, 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 no. I want to shut this off. <laughs> he just turned the radio on. But I think we can... Yep, we can destroy those laptops. Let's grab all of those. We can sleep here if we want. Let's just grab the supplies. You know what? We might actually just sleep here for the night. This is actually a really good spot to set up camp. Let's destroy that laptop. Um, and we can pick up a solar panel. So that's one thing I never got the chance to do last time we were out here, is actually use electricity, so that is super cool. Okay, well, we got most of the loot. Our backpack's pretty full. There's a dead body. So, yeah, this is a great spot to camp. Um, a little bit depressing, but a little bit better than what we had before. Oh, man. That water's probably not safe to drink now, is it? But yeah, like I said, I think I'm going to set up camp here. I'm going to call it a day. This was mainly for some exploration, getting back into it, remembering how to craft everything in Sons of the Forest. And I'm actually really excited for this because... I didn't realize that 1.0 was coming out anytime soon. I just wasn't following it. And I know there's been a lot of changes. The story is complete. So I'm really excited to go through that. I'm not in any rush to complete it. I know last time I played through this, it was a lot of building just because the story wasn't finished. We kind of ran out of things to do. And so I just focused on building. But now we have even more to explore, more of the story to uncover and figure out what in the world happened on this insane island. And uh, I'm really excited. I'm, I'm super excited. We'll get a base up eventually and it looks like we're gonna have some solar energy to work with so I'm really excited for that but yeah I'm gonna call it here I hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you did throw a like on the video subscribe if you want to see some more let me know if you want to see me continue this series on Sons of the Forest I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you all in the next one
Later.